Hi yogis and welcome to this Power Vinyasa flow. In this practice, we're working with the theme Tatiksha, which is all about patient endurance and strength through any circumstances in life. So this year, I want this to be a practice that you can turn to whenever you're feeling challenged or you're working towards your goals and obstacles are getting in the way. And you can turn to this practice and it will help keep you strong and moving forward. I will be offering crow pose or bakasana in this practice, and I've created a short video which is in the description box below, so take a look at that if you're not familiar with crow pose. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe as two new practices come out every week, one with a little more intensity, say a vinyasa type flow, and one more restorative and relaxing with stretching and breath work or meditation. That's enough talking from me, let's get started. So when you're ready, come to the back of your mat in kneeling pose. So bring the hands to prayer at heart center, close off the eyes and just take a moment here just for yourself. See if you can find inner stillness. Letting go of any frustrations, any other responsibilities. And just anchoring yourself here in the present moment through the breath. Let's take three full breaths together. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Let's open the eyes. Now we're going to press the hands forward, scoop through the belly. Let's just bring a bit of movement into the body. Really coming into the body, coming out of the mind. Lifting nice and high. And then open the arms. Let's take that again. Scooping back. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, open wide. All right, again, scooping back. Deep inhale here. Expanding through the rib cage. Open the arms wide. Last one, let's go. Scooping back. Lifting high. Open the arms wide. Beautiful. Let's come to thread the needle. Today we're going to take it in child's pose though. So sinking the butt back over the heels, arms nice and long. Really keep this nice and active, this position today. Stretching through the shoulders, through the back of the body. And then from there, I just want you to take the right arm, thread it through, and just bring the side of the head and the side of the shoulder to the mat if you can. Just a gentle twist through the spine. the breath supporting you through the entire practice. Reach the arm nice and long. Let's take the other arm. Thread it through, side of the shoulder, side of the head come towards the mat. Just giving our bodies a chance to warm up, feeling into any sort of tight spots in the body, taking your time. And coming back to center. All right, our first tabletop. So wrists directly under shoulders, knees directly under hips. We're going to take bird dog crunch today to just engage the core at the start of our practice. So reaching your right arm nice and long, thumb, thumb pressing up to the sky, and then the leg, left leg lifts. Here, belly is drawing in one long line from your fingertips to your back toe. Then we'll scoop through the belly, knee and elbow come in together. Reaching long. Let's take five more. Exhale as you scoop in. Inhale to reach long. Four more. That's four. Three. Two. Last one. Exhale to scoop. Inhale, reach nice and long. Hand comes down, knee comes down. Other side, reach the hand out, reach the right foot out. Let's scoop in through the belly. Six, stretching long. 
five, four, three. Really scooping through the belly here, really engaging the core at the start of our practice, preparing for the journey ahead. Reaching nice and long, hand comes down. Let's come to our first downward facing dog. So push the mat away with the hands, tuck the toes under, knees come off, belly is engaged. Lift the sit bones nice and high to the high diagonal behind you. Just take a moment here. Let's just take a few full breaths in your own time. Releasing anything that doesn't serve you right here in this moment. preparing to get stronger both physically and mentally. Now just a gentle pedal through the feet, stretching through the backs of the legs. And then heels towards the earth, bend the knees here as much as you need. We're going to lift the right leg. Let's just take scorpion on each side. So lift the right leg. We open the hip, keep the shoulders and chest nice and square to your mat. Then extend the leg, lower it down. Other side, inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Chest and shoulders stay nice and square. Extend the leg, lower it down. All right, something a little different today. Excuse me while I just fix the microphone. Let's bring the right leg through. Crescent lunge, feet are hip width apart. Lifting the arms here, sinking down into the lower body. I want you to take a side stretch. So take the wrist, stretching over this front leg. And then we're going to circle the body around, full circle. Hands come down, pressing back, downward facing dog. Stepping through the left, still warming up the body. Lifting tall, crescent lunge. Take the wrist, stretching towards me. Then we'll circle around. Hands come down, pushing back. Once more each side, right leg comes through. Feet hip width apart for stability. Lifting tall, reaching those fingertips to the sky. Take the wrist, stretching over. We circle around, bringing some movement into the torso. Hands come down, press back. Last one. Really warming our bodies for the effort of our practice ahead. Take the stretch, feeling that down the side of the body and into the hip flexor, circling around. Hands come down, pushing back downward facing dog. Let's look to the top of the mat. And then with tiptoes, walking all the way up, feet hip width apart, hang down in ragdoll. Take a moment here. Hands reaching towards the earth or take the back of the elbows, knees nice and bent. And then just a gentle rock side to side. Maybe shake the head. No tension in the neck or head. And any thoughts that are still rumbling around there, See if you can just let them tumble out to the floor. Then from there, hands come down, rolling up, vertebra by vertebra, just standing. Let's just bring the hands to prayer at heart center. You might want to just close off the eyes. Just a gentle reminder to be here right now in our practice, building strength mentally and physically so we can progress through any challenge or any circumstance that life brings our way. 
Let's take sun salutations. Feet either hip width apart or you can toe heel them together. Reaching nice and high, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Breath and movement united. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high plank. Low plank, knees can come down for the first round. All the way down, just keep taking cobra for this first round. Neck nice and long. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step the feet through. Halfway lift, length through the spine. Forward fold, bend the knees as much as you need. Coming to standing, Tadasana. Lifting nice and tall, sun salutations again, in flow. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high to low plank. Exhale, cobra or upward facing dog, if you're ready for it. Downward facing dog, exhale, push the mat away through the arms. Look to the top of the mat, step or jump the feet through. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, Uttanasana. All the way to standing, Tadasana, reach the fingertips towards the sky. We're flowing down once again. Exhale, bow to the earth here, halfway lift. Step back or jump back. Low plank, exhale, hold here, nice and strong through the upper body. Cobra or upward facing dog. We press back, downward facing dog, hold here. One full breath, breathing in, breathing out. We're taking a new sequence, come with me. Step through with the right foot, crescent lunge. Lifting nice and tall, we cactus the arms, open through the chest. From here, skandasana, back of your mat. Options, just here or all the way down. Now, we come to skandasana, front of the mat. Hands can come down, or if you want to build a little strength, coming across to the front. Hands come down, lunge, step back, chaturanga. Lift, heart through, pressing back. Let's take the other side, crescent lunge. Lifting, cactus the arms. Skandasana, back of mat, turn away from me. Skandasana, front of the mat. Hands come down, plank, let's go. Lifting, cobra or up dog, pressing back. Let's flow it a little more. Here we go, crescent lunge. Cactus the arms. Skandasana. Now keep this nice and strong. Feel the intensity here. I want you building strength mentally and physically. Low plank, cobra, or upward facing dog. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Left leg steps through. You are strong. You can handle any challenges that come your way. Let the practice do the work for you. Skandasana front of mat. Hands come down. Foot comes back. Building strength through the upper body. Lift through the heart. Pressing back. We're taking one more each side. Stay with me. Enduring any challenges. You are strong. Skandasana, back of the mat. Front of the mat. Hands come down. Chaturanga. Hold here, low plank. Cobra or upward facing dog. Press back, exhale. Remember the breath to support you. Step through, crescent lunge. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, cactus open, skandasana, back of the mat, find your flow, front of the mat, lunge, low plank, stay with me, stay strong, we're nearly there, lift, press back, hold here a moment, 
take one full breath. Step or jump the feet towards the hands. Let's roll up through the spine. Beautiful effort. We're coming to some standing balances. Stepping back if you need. Now, let's come to eagle pose. Pressing down through the right foot nice and strongly. Cross the left leg over. Keep the toe on the ground if that's for you. Otherwise, lift it off. Left leg is over, left arm wraps underneath. Find a fixed point in front of you, set your gaze. Breathe, focusing on nothing but that fixed point and your breath. All right, coming out of it, you can either lower the leg down or come to stork pose. Wherever you are, I want you working hard, building strength, finding your edge. From here, again, you can place the foot down and come back into it. Otherwise, take the big toe with the right hand or the knee, if that's enough. And then let's extend the leg. Other arm reaches out behind you. And if you want to accept the challenge, take it a little further. Turn the gaze. Hold here. Lower it down. Whew. Let's take the other side. Eagle pose, grounding down strongly through the left foot. We cross the right leg over. Toe is either on the mat or lifted off. It doesn't matter. You've got to take the option that works for you. It's all about building strength in our minds and our bodies. Let go of the ego and do what's right for you. Remember to set your gaze and focus. A focused mind is a powerful mind. Let's come to stalk or place the foot down. If you're coming to stalk, lifting high and let's get ready for reverse big toe hold. So either just taking the knee or take the big toe, stretch the leg long, right arm out behind you and turn your gaze, turn your head towards the back arm. Coming back to center, lift, lower, and we're out of there. Let's take a moment. So let's just take a forward fold, just nice and restorative in ragdoll. Deep breaths here, breathing. Incredible effort. We have to make sure to celebrate our wins, our achievements along the way. So when you're ready, we're going to take crow pose. Options here, plenty of options for everyone. So pressing the hands into the mat, fingers nice and wide. And then from there, if you're just working up to it, all I want you to do is to bring the weight forward so you're building strength through the upper body. If you've got that, the next option is coming up nice and high on the balls of the feet. Knees come to the backs of the arms and we're just going to lift one foot and then the other foot. If you've got that and you're ready for more, set the gaze just a little in front of you on the mat. Lift one foot, make sure you're scooping in through the belly and then lift the other foot off. Hold there, breathing. Core is engaged. And coming out of it. Whew, well done, wherever you are. 2024 goals. Okay. Just maybe circle the wrist, give them a shake if you need. We're, gonna go, we're going to come down onto our backs. So rolling down. Let's take hip bridge. So just a little bit of work for the back of the body. Heels nice and close to your butt. Feet are hip width apart. Palms pressing into the mat. Let's inhale here. And then exhale. Tilt the pelvis, rolling up through the spine. In a nice diagonal line. Knees in line with your shoulders here. Really think of contracting through the hamstring muscles, building strength here. Whew. I'm getting warm. I hope you are too. Rolling down. Let's take that again. 
scooping the belly in, rolling up and rolling down. Last one, all the way up. Let's walk the shoulders underneath us, if that's all right for you. Clasp the hands, reach them down for the heels. Feel that strength through the back of the body, through the shoulders. And then release. Beautiful. Okay, let's just take a pretzel stretch to start. Starting to bring the energy down a little. We've really warmed our bodies. Let's now come into some stretches. Right foot comes over the top, reaching through, taking the hamstring or the top of the shin, drawing the knee down, finding the stretch through the glute, through the hip. Deep breaths. Let's swap sides. Left leg comes over, reaching the hands through. Find the position that works for you. Relaxing down onto the mat. Sending the breath down into the hip space. Now we're going to take a stretch for the inner thighs. A little bit of a different position today, requires a little more balance. So reaching the arm nice and long, options here is just to take the knee like this, and we're just going to draw it in towards the shoulder. It does take a little bit of core strength here to hold you there. Then from there, if you want, you can always bend the leg underneath you too for a little more balance. We'll take the toes if you can, either here or if you can, stretching the leg high. Beautiful stretch for the inner thigh here. Deep breaths. It may be the stretching part of the class that you find the hardest, that sort of challenges you the most. So if it is, really stay with it. And maybe make that something you want to work on this year. Lowering the leg down. Let's take the other side. I'll roll over here so I can still see you. So once again, just hugging the knee in. And then from there, you can bend the underneath leg for a little more stability. Take the toe, big toe hold, stretch the leg up. Beautiful stretch for the inner thigh. See if you can release tension, no tension through the neck or shoulders. And release. Time for a hamstring stretch. Let's draw the right leg up. You can keep this back foot flat on the mat. And just find what works for you. Hand either on the hamstring or the back of the calf or towards the foot. Keep the knee as bent as you need. Just respecting your body, respecting what it needs taking care of it for good health and longevity. And take the outside of the calf. Let's just stretch it across the body just a little. Just feeling this through the outside of the thigh. So you want the back of the pelvis to stay on the mat.
and let's lower the leg all the way down and come into a twist. Stretching the bottom leg long, knee comes over. And if it feels good, arm comes wide, head turns to the front, maybe close off the eyes. See if you can really melt the tension away, just letting it go into the mat. One more breath here. Other side, starting with the hamstring stretch. Foot flat on the floor if that's good for you. Hips nice and square. We lift the leg, keeping the knee as bent as you need. I want the tailbone staying long. And find your stretch. Sending the breath down, really encouraging the muscles to relax. Let's take the leg across the body, pelvis staying on the mat. And just that gentle stretch through the outside of the thigh. And let's come all the way over for the twist. Stretching the bottom leg long, knee comes towards the mat, reaching the arm, turn the head if it feels good. Find your twist. Such beautiful medicine for the spine. Beautiful. And to finish off, happy baby. Just taking behind the knees, the lower legs, or maybe peace fingers to the big toes, draw the knees down towards the armpits. Take a gentle rock side to side, really drawing the energy down now. And let's come to Shavasana. Legs come nice and long. Feet about hip width apart, hands resting outside of the mat. Close off the eyes. Just a few full breaths here. Breathing in, expanding through the rib cage. And as you breathe out, let all of the effort go. Feel a sense of relaxation overcoming you. And again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And you can stay right there. Or if you're ready, draw the knees up. Roll over to one side and come to sit up with me. We're sitting cross-legged, keeping the eyes closed. Hands are resting lightly on the thighs. Find that openness across the collarbones and length through the spine all the way from the tailbone up through the crown of the head. I hope you're now feeling strong and centered and calm and ready to move through your day with strength and grace. Remember the term tatiksha, which is all about patient endurance and strength through any circumstances. I'm here to support you. I know you've got this. Let's bring the hands to prayer at Heart Center and open the eyes. Thank you so much for your strength, your commitment, and your focus in our class today. Namaste.